Hey everybody, today's video is not about how to apply thermal paste or how to uh, perfectly check the Peltier module, how to uh, check the cooling or something. Today's test is all about comparison between uh, the world famous Peltier module and my favorite Peltier module. Here you can see a quick easy setup. The battery is powering up the DC brushless fan. We have two thermometers which are almost exactly near to the uh, similar temperature. We have already installed the new batteries, Maxell batteries, into the thermometer in order not to make any anything uh, any different in between the temperature because if the batteries are low so the temperature might uh, be very in between the digital thermometers we are having Xbox power supply which is basically a 12 volt power supply and it has 16.5 amps it can provide the 12 volt DC battery is uh, going to power the DC brushless fan and let's have a look onto the quick setup down here we have two heat shrink heat sinks underneath the fan in order to flow the air smoothly and above we have one big heat sink uh, to provide a quick uh, heat uh, transfer and heat dissipation by the fan while rotating and we have two Peltier modules, uh, TEC12706, uh, that's uh, really famous and widely available on uh, any online store. And TEC12703, which is one of my favorite Peltier modules available. Uh, normally I use TEC12703 because it consumes uh, really less amps and provide you a really uh, nice cooling effect. Also, it has a little bit uh, uh, more diameter. It's a little bit more fatter than the regular Peltier. These are basically four millimeters, uh, nearly three millimeters. And, and the TEC12703 is about four mm thick which is also good in isolating the heat on either side of the Peltier so let's begin the test and power up the uh, power, uh, supply before I start I would like to add some thermal thermal grease under the Peltier sen uh, thermometer sensors in order to give it a really perfect reading can just add a little bit uh, thermal paste under the PL tier modules and we'll see the rapid cooling effect that which one of these uh, can perform a really cool rapid cooling effect so let's begin I'm just going to power up the uh, adapter my power supply for the uh, Xbox ready three two one and go power supply is uh, on and you can see uh, quick uh, temperature changes in between both the Peltier module now I'm going to power up the DC fan you can see but it's going to be loud and you can see uh, easy easy different in between Peltier modules DEC 12703 is uh, providing you better cooling effects than the other one reaches minus 5 and that uh, TTC12706 reaches 4 minus 4 degrees <clears throat> which is far behind and you can see the cooling effects are more rapid into TEC12703 as you can see a major difference in between the two Peltier modules major temperature difference it's stable at negative 8 degrees and TEC12706 is stable near around negative 5 degrees. 
so that's what I was talking about and TEC 12706 uh, is uh, is quite cheap it's widely available but I believe TEC 12703 is a better performer and it's a winner in my opinion still you can see and you can see a temperature uh, increased in between both the belt here uh, TEC 12703 is stable at uh, 7 degrees and you can see 12706 is around negative 3 degrees so what do you guys think about this test please uh, uh, give your suggestions in the comments below and uh, 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 what about my idea if the uh, if you like the idea behind this test uh, uh, you can share it with your friends and if you want to buy TEC 12703 it will be a good uh, selection and I will highly recommend you to buy TEC 703 which is uh, less in power consuming and high output in cooling effects Hope you guys like the video please do like the video and share and subscribe with your uh, uh, share it with your friends and subscribe to your favorite youtube channel diy taisir world thanks for watching have a great day bye bye thank you